I'm not a diabetic, I'm a person with diabetes. The extent and complexity is just overwhelming. When my daughter was diagnosed, different bits of kit were handed out, but I didn't know what it all meant. Undiagnosed diabetes can destroy lives, yet good control and early diagnosis can mean that nothing stops you. I have a son who was diagnosed age six. He was in primary school at the time. He wasn't allowed to test in class. The negativity around that, that he was made to feel bad for testing his bloods in front of other people. Obviously, they didn't understand the emotional impacts. The physical side is the medication, the diet, the exercise regime, but there is also the mental side. I felt very unaware and upset and scared. There's no continuous glucose monitor funding for anyone in our area. It's the technology really that's revolutionised my life and it's costing me £50 a week. I can't afford it. I'm going to have to rethink how I live. Earlier this year, the dad bulimia kind of flared up again. I wasn't doing any injections at all and I had called the ambulance myself because I was just so sick. That was a real moment of realisation of why am I letting this thing control my life? When the condition came my way 13 years ago, was I going to roll up into a ball and die? I don't think so. So I decided I'm going to make changes in my life. I do yoga, Zumba, Pilates. I just want parents to be aware that there is different policies, legislation in place. We just need to make sure that the schools actually adhere to these. I believe better understanding is the way that people's perception of diabetes will change. When I see my GP, I know for a fact that she understands what I'm saying. Continuous glucose monitor funding would just change the world for people with type 1 diabetes. I feel quite hopeful about the future. My hope for diabetes is that we have a future without it.